Welcome to my channel Medical Biology. Today I will be discussing about exhumation. Ex means out and humus means earth or ground. It is defined as lawful disinterment or lawful digging out of the buried body. Indications are to settle disputes regarding identity of the deceased, to settle any suspicion of foul play or disputes regarding cause of the death. Requisition is an order for examination can only be given by magistrate and not by the police officer. Procedures are as follows, general precautions, identification of grave and collection of samples, identification of coffin and collection of samples, identification of body and post-mortem if necessary. Time limit for India and England, there is no time limit for France it can be done up to 10 years, for Scotland up to 20 years and for Germany for up to 30 years. The precautions are the procedure can be done after proper orders and it is done by medical officer in the presence of magistrate, police officer and relations of the deceased. It should be done early in the morning to have privacy and postmortem if required should be completed on the same day. All the people should wear masks and stand in the wind what direction to avoid inhaling the gases directly and no disinfectant should be sprinkled on the body directly. So the identification of the grave is as follows. The warden of the cemetery confirms from the record the grave of the deceased. The grave is slowly dug out avoiding damage to the coffin. A sample of the earth from around the coffin is collected for chemical analysis. Then comes the identification of coffin. The coffin is taken out and its plate is cleaned. The coffin is identified by the undertaker who had prepared it and the gases which are allowed to escape after opening the coffin lid. The sample of the coffin, the clothes of the body and earth or water in the coffin is collected for chemical analysis. Then comes the identification of the body. The body is taken out from the coffin and the body or the remains present are thoroughly examined by the relations in the presence of the magistrate, medical officer and the police officer. Identity is confirmed by relations and in case of any dispute, photograph is taken, fingerprints are recorded and all the features of identifications are noted. Then the magistrate resides, decides whether the body is to be buried or if the post-mortem is necessary. Then comes the post-mortem examination. If necessary, post-mortem is done and all the necessary viscera are collected for examination, chemical analysis and the body is reburied. There are two types of autopsy that is obscure autopsy and negative autopsy. Obscure autopsies are those which do not show a definite cause of death that is in which there are minimal indefinite, obscure or even no positive findings at all and negative autopsy is when there is a gross histopathological, bacteriological and chemical analysis fail to reveal a cause of the death. The autopsy is considered to be negative. Obscure autopsy is due to first is natural diseases like rheumatic fever, myocarditis, infarction, bronchial asthma, epilepsy, neurogenic shock and it may be also due to infections like enteric fever, meningitis, encephalitis, cerebral malaria, tetanus and rabies. Uh, there are also bio biologic biochemical disturbances like diabetes, hypokalemia, uremia, electrolyte imbalances. Negative autopsies are due to inadequate history, inadequate external examination, improper internal examination, insufficient laboratory examination. Uh, or insufficient or poor toxicological analysis and the doctor is inefficient.